14 getting this engine tore apart in the last video seen me pull that cylinder head off i haven't done anything else to it yet so this is where we're left off it's freaking bunch of rust so we're gonna clean that out real quick Ooh, that piston is gone that gray stuff is part of piston that gray stuff is a piston you know how I know? Because look at that. This is a piston. That's the connecting rod. The piston's all corroded. Hell, here's some sand. Look at it. It's all nasty. Dang. Let's turn this over. Turn it back over. This way. Got a little bit out of it. Put that board under this engine mount here. that no good that piston is gone completely gone look at that sand sand and rust and well, rest it turn into sand or something. Head gasket. Head gasket's all. That head gasket probably has asbestos in it. I'm sure. Probably not a good idea to touch it, but. Uh, here's the bolts I cut. This thing. Those are the bolts that snapped off when I was taking them off the first time. Oh, uh, yeah. Issues. So I'm gonna set y'all back down here again. And see, uh, see what else we could do. I wonder if that thing would just come right off. We'll try to bust some more piston out. Oh, that piece is coming right out. Freaking busting the pieces. Now, if I would let it rot off some more. Within the next 10 years. Let's see, uh. Let's see here. I think there's, yeah, there's some more head bolts on that. We'll pull them out before they rest even worse. Yes, it was raining earlier. That's why the ground's wet and it's cloudy out. Oh, dang. That's nice. Which way do we need to go? This way, I think.
Move it that way. Yeah, this way's the way we need to go. I bet when these Winsconsin V4s are running in a good shape, they're probably not bad engines. I don't know. I've never ran one before. Um, so, I'm not real sure. This is, this one is about 65 horse. Um, I think this one, this one was on a Baylor. So yeah, it's probably about 65 horsepower. There was, it goes from, uh, the Wisconsin V4s go from 32.7 horsepower to um, 65 point something horsepower. So this is probably a 65 horse. So I can't, I can't really believe that. I looked it up on the internet and I'm like, how is that little bitty V4 making 65 horsepower? I know a four cylinder makes about 90 to 100 horse. Especially in four cylinder diesel engines that um, two of our tractors had in it. Of course, those were John Deere engines, and they were tractors, so. And then the three cylinder I ran. I ran three cylinder, three three cylinders, three cylinder tractors. John Deere 5045E, 55E, and 75E. And the 5045 e is like 43 horsepower with a three cylinder diesel. And then the 55E uh, is 60, about 60 horse. Um, three cylinder diesel and then um, 75e the last tractor I ran it was 73 horsepower and it was a three cylinder so And, but this thing's gas. Diesel makes more torque. So this thing. Uh, this thing's pretty powerful. Or at least it was. I think we have another bolt right under there. Yep. There's another bolt right under there. I feel it. So I need to get my cutting wheel back out, cut all them up. So I'll get changing this out on camera. Running wheel off, the cutting wheel on. No, this cutting wheel's not made for a grinder. Uh, 
I guess I'll use this pair. I'm gonna bend that out of the way. I'm gonna pull that metal out. So now got all that taken off. I will start turning this bolt. And the nuts coming off the stud. Now, cut myself a little bit. All right. All the cylinder head nuts and bolts are off. So, um, I'll see you in the next video.